Hey folks, I'm Philippi, and welcome back to Stellaris and the Nanite 1 Collector's Playthrough. In the last two episodes, we've been tooling up for war, and I think in this episode we're going to consider declaring war on the Beldrone Concordant down in the south here. They're involved in two wars with fallen empires, this one here, which they seem to be winning, uh, as they don't, this, these uh, systems don't look to be particularly well defended, and another one up here, which they may not be defending against, especially since these guys have a 459,000 K fleet floating around waiting to beat them up. With that said, we cannot dismiss the fact that we do have semi-hostile aliens on the right here, while the assembly of Nigaria is not particularly powerful compared to us. Uh, they are, I think they're just equivalent. Um, their overlords, these guys, are. Uh, they are superior strength to us, and that is a concern. So we'll have to get that done. We're working on building up our fleet strength. I want to have four 200 uh, K fleets. That means I'm going to need 800 fleet power. Uh, we're working on it right now. Actually, I would like five 200k fleets, which is what I have set up right now, not four. Yeah, five. So this will be uh, a thousand. So we need a thousand fleet power. Right now we only have uh, 665. Um, so I'm working on building some stuff around the systems to get that done. I'm going to build a few more orbital systems uh, around my various, various Unity worlds, which, by the way, I'm going to go take a look up really quick so I remember which ones they are. Um, yeah, so Zeta Reticuli Prime, Forever Spring, and Thriving Green are the three. Now, Thriving Green already has one, so Forever Spring in the CO system, and Zeta Reticuli Prime in the Zeta Reticuli system need it. So here, and the CO system here. So these two need... Uh, uh, ring worlds built. That said, I think you are done. You're building the Mega Star Base. Thank you. Uh, what are my other guys doing? We'll close up these sectors here. What are my other buddies doing? You are moving to the Semyea system. There. That's for the gateway. You're going to continue to build gateways, yeah. You're building the mega shipyard. And you're building a hyper relay network, okay. So maybe when the mega shipyard is done, I'll have him, this one here, continue to build other stuff out. In the meantime, let's unpause, get stuff going, so we can continue to build um, fleet strength and all that jazz. Uh, you guys need to upgrade. So let's get that done. We do have our four titans built, I believe. I believe one, two, three, four all has our titans. One, two, three does not. Four does, so we're missing one titan, which I think is being built as we speak. Uh, if I take... I like to have this one closed because then I can see the shipbuilding and the military fleets at the same time. Uh, can I move this down? Yes, I can. Uh, I don't need branch offices. So, shipyards, military fleets, star bases. Leased fleets, civilian ships, armies, observation, I don't care about. Factions, I don't care about. Terraforming, I don't care a ton about. Mega structures, I do. That seems good. Yeah. Good. So now these two are together, so I can leave this open. I can scroll down here and update these as I need it, but I can still see these two next to each other. You didn't know you can organize this thing over here in the outliner. And also reorder the planets. If you want to reorder your planets up here. Um, what was I going to do again? Oh yeah, I was seeing where the last Titan was being built. Uh, you're upgrading, so it's not here. 
Uh, this Titan and Farood. Yeah, we got one more Titan being built. Otherwise, all the Titans are ready to go. We can only have four at the moment. Yeah. High security contractors and high consequence protections are a pain. Can I leave? Yes, I can. So I think that's what's going to happen. I'm going to build up the what I need. It looks like it's going to be 250 or 500 uh, influence, and I'm just going to leave this. Unless I can get rid of the two things that are making this bad. Security contractors and high consequence protection. Okay, so let's go resolutions. Security contractors and high consequence protections. That's this one, defensive privatization. Security contractors. That's the one in front of this. So I would like to neutral defenders. Mercenary enclaves gave naval capacity no, I would like this to be repealed, actually. Can I do that? Propose? No, I want to repeal. Only weak support for this. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. What's this do? Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to build up my own capacity and possibly leave the Galactic Council because I don't really need to be there. Um, and it would help eliminate 25% reduction in um, naval capacity. Yep, anyhow, we'll continue to build defenses and build ships. Speaking of defenses, I would like to build a few more over here. Uh, definitely get at least six defense platforms in the uh, Tyune Ort system. Oh, defensive pact. You guys are oh, equivalent fleet power strength, superior tech. This is the Thenek Equity. It's these guys. Yeah, sure. I'll get in a defensive pact with them. Why not? At least that means when... Oh, are these two long, no longer... No, they're in the same thing. At least when, if these guys declare war on me, then I'll have somebody to help hit them from the other side. Colony development, I was just doing that to uh, cycle through the stuff. This is repeatable. I get the defense grid supercomputer. Well, well, I guess we'll get the science on science. Why not? Uh, Cynic has completed its construction. Good. And Schleck has defeated its construction. Excellent. I would like to upgrade that again, please. Right now, this is a very weak system. Hopefully soon it will not be. Is this stuff actually getting done? It is. Just slowly. So I think I'm going to uh, bite the bullet and save up for the science thingy. Well, let's get our last thing here. So this does, uh, I'll, I'll talk about what I'm going to talk about in a second here. Start base capacity plus two, upgrade cost minus 50, hostile operation, extra. Awesome. Also, the unyielding ending bonus gives me a uh, defense platform cap plus 50% and start base keep minus 20, which is excellent. And we get access to the Marshall Alliance Federation type, which is cool. So I could become the Crisis now, and that might be the choice. I'm just going to double check to see if there's anything else in here I really want. 
Machine worlds could be good. Unless the terraforming options for machine worlds, a special planet class that is uninhabitable to Morse organics, but are not uh, limited to planetary features, such as the generating and mining districts, and they can support pops living on machine worlds, have their resource output increased by 10%, housing reduced by 10, and existing agriculture districts on the planet will be destroyed. So maybe. Master builders could be good too. Increases the build speed. So shared destiny is a no. Transcendent learning is a no. Executive vigor is a maybe, but probably not. Master of nature is a no. Technological ascendancy is a no. Galactic contender is a no. Grasping the void is a no. Interstellar denomination is a no. Defender of the galaxy is a maybe. World shaper is a no. Colossus project. I'm not really interested in devastating worlds, so no. Nihilistic op acquisition is a no. Edigmatic engineering is a no. And then become the crisis is a yes. So, so it's really between defend the become the crisis, master builders, machine worlds. I don't really need detox. Although we do have seven detox planets within our space that we could work on. So maybe. I am doing research for another one of these slots. So we have three more. Four more, actually. So we have one, two, plus the one I have now, plus the one in my research queue. So we have two in the short term. So really, it's machine worlds or detox. Machine worlds or detox. Let me just look up on the uh, little internets here for a second. If cyborgs can live on machine worlds. Stellaris, cyborg, machine world. There we go. Looks like cyborgs cannot live on machine worlds. Okay. That seals the deal for me. I'm not going to get some machine worlds then. I could probably build a few machine worlds and only put my Nanite 1 processors on it, and it would sort of make sense. But we're really interested in bridging the gap between the two, so I don't think we're going to do that. Uh, let's get Detox. And uh, we'll get a couple of these worlds done. Yeah, here we go. All these seem pretty normal, is this? Terraforming candidate costs 10,000. Okay, I just gotta wait until I get some more money. We gotta resolve the money issue here, which I'm working on. Oh, that reminds me. I can go into edicts and I can stop running the volatile land clearance because I don't need that anymore. Uh, and I'll leave that as is. Everything else I think is fine. Yeah. You're being upgraded as we speak. You are not. Yeah, I'm going to save up for a little while so we can build the science nets, uh, network. Down here. Got two gateways on the go. We need a third one is coming. Incoming transmission. Wouldn't mind doing that. Uh, we can learn a whole bunch. They can learn none. Sure. Construction complete. Excellent. This is done here. So that brought me up to 724. Excellent. I'm going to save my money. I do have a construction ship that I need to uh,
trying to think of where I should put this. I think right here is fine. Yeah, let's put it here. Put the gateway here. Uh, I'll build it on the far side, though. There we go. Now, I'd like to save up for the larger thing. I'd also like to save up to build some of these stations up. Research. How much does this cost? Yeah, this is 250. So I can put all these up to the next level. Get these going. That one's already going. Nope. One more. Perfect. Let's grab this. There's another Ascension perk. And Unity Ambitions. Don't need the assembly at all. Habitability, maybe. Capital buildings, looks good. Clone army, don't need. Let's do that. Economy of scale. And for this one, let's pick... Um, we are the crisis, maybe? Synthetic age. May not have Orgo machine interfacing. Okay. Void burn galactic wonders. Yeah. I wish I could see the next one here. Yeah, let's do become the crisis. Super. As far as I know, this doesn't make everybody hate us immediately. We can delve into the secrets of the Cyberx. I don't know why we haven't already done that. And then researching special projects like this one will progress us further along the path to becoming the Crisis. Okay. Let's, um, let's do the first one. This is fleet upgraded. Excellent. Wanna station is finished. You should build that. And you should build. Hold on. You should build the Unity Center thing. Okay, this uh, this will show me the buildings I can build that are unique to orbital rings for planets. So there's the orbital maintenance drops, which increases amenities. There's the uh, increased food production, increased energy production, and increased mineral production. I thought there was one for unity production, but I guess not. So thriving green do you would make? You do make a lot of energy, so maybe we can do the energy production one. Sure, we'll do that. And let's grab another uh, orbital thing, Rabob. So I should really put some of those over my energy worlds, actually. Hmm. Well, we'll think about it for now. Um, some of these other systems should probably get upgraded too. I'm gonna wait a minute. Uh, I'd like to build a few more defenses over here on Farood in particular. Get three more, taking us up to ten. Farood, what's your, your strength here? Yeah, you're a 50k station. Nasty. Special project complete. Previously reported energy fluctuations that triggered sensors across an N at one collective have been analyzed. They are Constitutive empirical proof of parallel dimension or scientific theory subroutines report that, with 96.7% certainty, the alternate dimension consists of almost pure energy. Cross-referencing the Xeno archives, there are mentions of such a dimension uh, in the records of the lost organic civilizations uh, assigned to the anomalous tag of the Shroud. Fluctuations of the Shroud appear to be connected to the physical and mental duress of organic life forms. Recommended action 
uh, menace arbitrary organic life forms to validate the reality shroud connection hypothesis. done let's um, go to that was here there's the gateway there's the mega shipyard site so I need okay so I need 10,000 minerals okay we'll get that working in the meantime, I'm going to take you. And I want to find one of my main energy planets. Is this one? Yeah, this is a good one. Statium. Which is in the Merkaz system over here. Let's grab you. Head over here. And you build me a... Orbital ring. We'll get some more little rings going to get some of these generator worlds to produce more energy for us. Close all that. Apparently I still had things to upgrade. Fruit, how are you doing on that? Uh, shipyard, the Titan. Well, you're getting closer. Let's um, continue to upgrade some of these fleets. Secrets of the Cyber X. We have successfully managed to integrate the CyberX artifacts into our research processes. Their insights and megastructure engineering are great, add greatly to our own. So one of our scientists get the Voidcraft trait. We get a whole bunch of engineering research. We get secrets of the CyberX modifier, giving us megastructure build speed plus 10. Well, that's fun. Uh, fourth fleet here. Let's have you continue to build ships. Research complete. Ooh, what did we get? Science for science. Uh, I don't need the science nexus. Yes, encryption and code breaking would be good. Sure. Then over here we can get... Sure, we get some more housing. I think I need any of these at the moment. This is all fun. This artifact relays do. Maybe. What was that technology we got? Here? Advanced battleship hulls. Cool. Construction complete. You know, given the speed of this, I should probably just move this one fleet. Ah, uh, you know, you're waiting on something. You are. You are not. I'm just going to move you over to here and you can get your upgrades over there. Which you're taking forever. I'm going to want to move them south anyhow. For when we go to war. And you, I think, are done. Yep. I'm going to upgrade you again. And then I'm going to add those there. Communications jammer disruption field. Research on capital building stuff, excellent. 
Uh, let's get Strategic Coordination Center. That's the one that gives me more um, naval capacity. That would be very helpful. The Thayan Corporation is thinking of declaring war on me, you. A little worried there, but that's these guys, so I'm not too worried anymore. They just have a lot of stuff? Not really. Ships upgraded. Research complete. City housing. Let's get the Starbase module thing. That can still be upgraded. We're not quite at the capital yet. Construction complete. Construction complete. There we go. Get them done and get all the ships built there. Research complete. Starbase bonus, excellent. Starbase upgrade cost, Starbase upgrade speed. Could be good. Sure. Not too worried about these guys. Fleet will be at full strength. Let's get some uh, minerals on the way. Ships upgraded. Let's check these. You're done here. Why don't you come along? You're done here, so why don't you come? Oh, I went the wrong. Well, I guess I didn't go the wrong way. So I did want to hook up this system, but I also want to hook up Storm. That's a toxic world, okay. It's currently being terraformed, yep. Yeah. Okay, uh, third fleet. Apparently still needs upgrades. Second fleet, just waiting for its last ship. Fourth fleet. Get some more ships, please. We're almost there. Research complete. Research complete. All right, research code breaking. We're getting to the point where I don't really need much of this stuff. Guess we'll get the jump drive. Starbase upgrade cost is excellent. Titan hull points is probably the one I want. Or Marauder missiles. Probably the Marauder missiles, actually. full strength. You will be at full strength. This gateway site is ready. Where is this one here? Thank you. Oh, I don't quite have enough. 
There we go. Takes you out of here. Uh, where are my other generator worlds? So I have somebody here. You a generator world, you are. Anybody else? Loyal of Hope. Not a very good one. You are. You are down here. Okay. Let's have that um, construction ship here. Come over here. Please and thank you. Build me the. I guess not. Just come over here. Then you over there are done. Uh, where's another good generator world? So you make 134. You make 130. You make 144. It looks like it's that one. Over Jim Prime. Or over Jiri system here. Okay. So I'd like you to come over here, please. We'll call that the end of the episode. In the next episode, we're probably going to declare war, and it's probably going to be on these guys now. They're, they're pre prepping to declare war on me. Why don't I declare war on them instead? We'll eliminate this, and we'll come close to our defensive ally, blocking off this area and making us feel safe, and we can concentrate on the other direction. So hope to see you in the next episode. Have a great day.